Serial at Midnight. Quick pick. Greetings, human. We are here. I can't do it. I can't even see through them because they're so dark. Now I can see myself. Guys, we are here for a quick pick of Chariots of the Gods. This is a famous, maybe infamous documentary from 1970 about the existence of aliens, that visitations have been happening here for thousands and thousands of years. Uh, with tons of archaeological evidence. This is essentially an archaeological alien documentary. And this is the 50th anniversary Blu-ray. This comes from VCI. It's been cleaned up. It looks great. Bonus feature is the sequel, uh, Mysteries of the Gods, Chariots of the Gods, Mysteries of the Gods. Mysteries is not as good as Chariots because it relies on a lot of Chariots footage without the through line and uh but i tell you how they spice up mysteries of the gods is it's got a lot of national geographic style uh like topless tribal people um and like full full naked people so they were really leaning into that like but you get the it's not as compelling of a narrative but you get this so you get both of those here you get both of these documentaries but i'm talking about chariots of the gods because that's it's really good. And you know, we live in the world now where Ancient Aliens is a TV show and like this stuff has become big mainstream entertainment. Uh, it kind of all started here. Eric Von Daniken uh, was the guy who wrote these books that uh, Chariots of the Gods was based on. It's an archeological movie. They're really focusing on the evidence. They go to all four corners of the globe, all the continents. They're looking at statues, artifacts, uh, cave drawings, hieroglyphics, things like that. And it, some of it you're like, well, this could be, you know, just a coincidence. This could be just how they saw their gods at the time. But some of it is very hard to dismiss. Some of the, the artists, some of the, the hieroglyphics depict people that look like they're in spacesuits. They depict ships. We're talking about like cave drawings and carvings of people in ships with pedals and like view screens. There's like people with telescopes thousands of years before telescopes actually existed. It's very interesting and it's very compelling. Uh, and this is done, you know, 1970, it's very scholarly. I'm going to say that. It's very, you know, what we think of a documentary, you, you know, what they used to be like. Now documentaries have come a whole, you know, very long way uh, thanks to some of the talents of people that make them now. I love documentaries, but documentaries used to mean a certain kind of thing. Like, this is Frank. Frank explores hieroglyphics. We journey now to the Antarctic. That's how they used to be. It very much feels like that, but I love it. And it's very cool for like, it's kind of a relaxing thing. Even though it's creepy because it's like these ancient ley lines are runways for UFOs. Like, ooh. Hold on, let's see if I can do it. Does that come through? I don't know if that comes through on the mic. It's my best UFO noise. Uh, it's very interesting stuff. It's very compelling. And to have both of the movies restored on blu-ray from vci entertainment is very cool look at this guy this is ancient 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 stuff the moai on easter island there are i think there's hundreds of them on easter island some of them didn't even get finished car being carved there's moai all over the place they look out into the sea stonehenge how do we explain stonehenge there are places that have these huge multi-ton uh stone carvings and the stone is not around for hundreds of miles. The stone that these things are made out of doesn't exist in that area. So that means that they would have had to have brought it from hundreds and hundreds of miles away. How do you do that? And they're talking about how like it was swampland. So if you did care, how would you carry tons of materials through swamp? Like you physically can't do it. So there's so many interesting questions and Chariots of the Gods seeks to, it doesn't, I don't think it really has any answers. It just says like, look, the, we have been visited and here's the evidence. And it's easy to be like, ah, I'm practical. I don't think so, but it's fascinating to watch. And even as a travelogue, they go to so many, there's a quote from Leonard Maltin back here, well made and filled with many natural, natural beauties. It is. It's shot so well. They go to all these, I mean, tropical islands. They go to, you know, South America. It's it's wonderful. Guys, Chariots of the Gods. It's available now. If you're interested in this, I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. I'll pin a comment to the top. But uh, I think it's pretty cool. And I wanted to talk to you guys about it. Quick pick. Thanks so much. Take care. I'll catch you later.